guys, this is Fatma Kasuri and welcome to my YouTube channel. So guys, today's video is a hair tutorial. And today I'm going to be showing you how to make hairstyles with naturally curly baby hair like mine. <laughs> so I've been getting a lot of requests, especially on my Instagram account on um, you know how I style my hair for my looks um, I usually uh, make my hair into either a messy bun or like a messy pony or like a half type pony so these are three of my favorite hairstyles for curly hair so guys the three hairstyles that I'm going to be showing you guys are number one messy hair bun number two a messy pony number three a half tie half pony uh, now guys i know these hairstyles are very common and there are lots of videos on youtube and on google uh, where they show you how to make these hairstyles but the thing is that these are very very easy to do uh, but there are a few technicalities that i'm going to be sharing with you guys a few techniques and a few of my secrets my tips that i've learned over these years how to deal with this crazy curly hair so um, let's start so guys the first look that I'm gonna be sharing with you is uh, how to make a messy bun it's very convenient because you don't have to get a blow dry you don't have to put heat on your hair or anything and you can still look very good very chic in a messy bun so the things that you need to make a messy bun are you need hair ties or a pony, whatever you call it. Um, and for like for like thick hair, long hair, if you have a lot of volume and your hair is really, really dry, you should use a thicker band like this one. That's the one that I use. Uh, but if you have short hair, then you can use this. So the difference is that um, your hair might break in a thinner band if you have very thick hair. And you need um, bobby pins, a few hair pins a back combing comb and a hair straightener okay guys so we'll start by you have to kind of gather all your hair all of them but there's a technique this is the technique guys kind of like you have to go with your fingers kind of like this so you grab all your hair and push it up guys you have to push it up with your hand like that Get it really high and get it really tight so it should basically sit here yeah okay so now what you're gonna do is with one hand you're gonna grab your hair from here and with the other hand I'm just gonna kind of go like this kind of just twist it around your finger this end go like that so basically what you're doing is you're grabbing the end of one of your hair it should look like this okay and then you take a pony or a hair tie so at this but this looks so funny so at this point your hair should look like this so now what you're gonna basically do is with your fingers you're gonna kind of loosen grab your hair and loosen it from the top right and then just tuck it in move it around wherever you think it should sit and then you grab this here right you tuck in any loose ends so now you see you have a nice volume up here so now when you think you have all the hair where it where you want it to like you have a nice poofy bun here so what you do next is that you grab a bobby pin like this one and you just kind of secure your hair wherever you think you need to put a pin just to secure your hair you're gonna do that guys very important you put a a nice secure tight bobby pin right here at the back yeah so that when you're walking around your hair is not gonna open up at this stage it should look like this 
yeah so then with your fingers you can just kind of make it loose or you could tuck in tuck in some of the hair if you think it's too big and guys the important thing about a messy bun a messy look is that it should look messy like it should not look neat you know how girls here um, in our salon especially here in Pakistan people are obsessed with making your hair neat kya kehte ho ladkiya kya kehti hai guys ladkiya kya kehti hai madam isko thoda neat kare nahi nahi neat nahi karna guys for a messy bun you need it should look messy right so what you need to do for that is you're going to make it more messy you have to pull out some hair so Guys, either you can leave your bun like this or at whatever level you want or what I usually do is I like to pull some of this here instead of back combing your hair with a comb you can do that also that's also an option if you want more volume here so what you do is before you tie your hair you back comb your hair over here but I try to avoid back combing whenever I can because that really ruins your hair it damages your hair it breaks your hair and especially if you're curly haired girl you know what's going to happen you're going to have small tiny broken hair sticking out from everywhere and you don't want that okay so how to avoid back combing so what you do is with this um comb you're going to just pull some hair from here that's where i like a little bit of volume like i don't like it all over just like it here so you just kind of with your hand just pull okay guys now that i pulled out some hair from here for the back combing effect now what i'm going to do is the last step is you're going to pull out some loose hair okay now since i have curly hair what i'm going to do is i'm going to take the hair straightener and i'm going to straighten Loose. So that's all you do, guys, and I'm done. So, guys, the second look that I'm going to be showing you is how to make a messy pony. For that, I have to open my hair. Okay. So, guys, for a messy pony, all you will need is a hair tie, some normal pins. So let's begin. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to grab all my hair. And again, as I told you um in the previous hair do also, you have to kind of grab your hair like this. So go with your and make sure that your pony is really really high because when you put the hair tie on it, it will automatically become like this. Okay, when you have the when you have the hair tie here, make sure it's secure. Yeah. After that, what you're gonna do is that you're gonna grab this hair on top, right here. Okay. Grab these two sections and just kind of pull. Okay. So make it more messy. Just go like that. Either you can leave it like this. or what i do is i like cuz my face is kind of thin so what i do is i like to have a little bit of lift here like back combing so either you can use a back combing comb to back comb your, this part of your hair before you tie the pony or you do what i do i just grab this here here and just put my fingers can you see just with my fingers So guys, I'm all done now. So the third look that I'm going to be sharing with you guys today is a half tie hair like a half pony look. Um I love this look because you can leave your hair open but at the same time you can have some kind of a, a fun element in your hair going on. So for this look, all you will need is a hair tie. That's it. Okay guys now watch closely so what you do is you have to take this section of your hair so basically what i do is you take your two thumbs and you put them right here above your ears and just go like this 
So whatever hair you can get is fine. Again, the technique is the same, guys. I don't like to use a comb because the whole purpose of these hairstyles, like the whole look, is supposed to be a messy look. So you don't want to make it neat by kind of combing or brushing your hair. What I do is I use my fingers instead. So you just kind of go like that. Okay guys, for this half pony, I like to use this um, thicker, the wider haircut. Um, the reason for that is that it kind of gives your uh, pony a little bit of height. So again, you use the same technique I showed you for the messy pony. So you grab this part of your hair, the, these, these, these strands, and you kind of pull. balance the whole thing out and the volume is supposed to be here only on the point and this hairstyle you must have seen a lot of like Hollywood celebrities models a lot of international bloggers um, a lot of people love this look because it's so convenient so easy and it's so much fun so guys how did you enjoy my video so today I shared with you three simple hairdos three simple hair looks that you can do in like five minutes without using any heat except for those strands that I made in the second look. So guys, if you enjoyed my video today, do leave me comments and let me know what you guys thought. Also, do subscribe to my YouTube channel and click the bell icon so every time I post a video, you guys get notified. On that note, I'd like to say love you all. Till next time. Bye.